Hey guys, uh, today we're going to go over two potential trade opportunities for Bitcoin and for Matic. Uh, Bitcoin is actually retesting a important level of resistance inside of like this little formation that we're in right now. Um, and Matic is basically doing the exact same thing. So uh, let's dive into the charts. I can show you what I mean. And yeah. All right, cool. All right. So this is the Bitcoin chart that I was talking to you about. Uh, looks like we're actually trying to break out now, but... Um, Basically, what we need to wait for is a 15-minute candle close above this. Um, we might actually meet this point of control and have it act as a resistance. So if we break out now, I don't see it you know, skyrocketing or anything like that. So um, we get price action here, probably act as resistance and weigh us down towards this downtrend level of resistance right here and have it act as support. And that would be the confirmation bounce for this downtrend level of resistance to flip as support. And in confluence with that, we have this uptrend level of support right now that we're in for this formation. You know, every time we revisit this, we end up getting the break to the top side of the formation. Um, like for example, the last time we had a double bottom recovery and we broke this downtrend level resistance. So if you entered off this candle close above the neckline, then uh, you would have a decent entry and you put your stop loss right below the uptrend level support. Uh, same thing goes for here. If we end up building a you know similar kind of structure, uh, we could get rejected immediately here and then come back down and then we have a double bottom to give us enough momentum to break above this um, and that would work in my opinion would be better because you would have a better risk to reward ratio um, but anyways so this is what we're preparing for is just this downtrend level resistance to be broken the reason why it's cut through here is because this is the hourly candle down, um, downtrend level resistance and right here is the 15 minute time frame that I'm watching right here um, so yeah basically I'm preparing for a long position to try to scalp to the top of the formation here, but we gotta be reactional to this point of control, and we gotta be reactional to this point of control right here. Price action should be relatively quick, getting from here to here. Um, however, we could end up trading sideways at this point of control, um, just like we did over here, we, and uh, over here, basically. Anyways, so that's what I'm preparing for for Bitcoin. If you are interested in following this just let me know that'd be kind of cool and let's go over to matic so we're going to this is my other chart for matic basically yeah, matic's been in a downtrend for a little bit because it just broke this daily uptrending level of support that is basically been going straight up for a long time and now it's finally starting to have a little bit of a, a cool down period um because basically it's been pumping straight up for like 60 about 60 days, which is pretty intense. Um, so a cool down is expected. So we broke this down, um, this uptrend level of support. And now we are watching spider line resistance since we lost the momentum. So we're going over to the hourly time frame now. So this is the spider line resistance that I'm watching. Uh, we had this resistance weigh us down for a bit and we finally broke above it and it's starting to act as support. It's acting as support inside this micro formation, inside this macro formation. Uh, let me undo that range move. And let me lock that so I don't do that again. There we go. All right, cool. So yeah, we got the downtrend level of resistance weighing us down. We're starting to wedge. These typically break to the upside. And as it breaks to the upside, it'll probably come in confluence with the retest of the support level right here. Um, so hopefully it actually breaks to the upside near the retest support level so we have a better um, risk to reward ratio. What we'll be looking for for a long position, hopefully, be around here. And let's say you want to put your stop loss below the wick uh, support level just to be extra safe. You'd have about a 1 to 1 1.65 uh, risk to reward ratio, uh, assuming it reached the top of this formation. Uh, so typically, if you have something less than a 1 to 2 risk to reward ratio, you'd want to put less funds in. Um, for example, this is like a 1 to 6, basically. So you'd want to have like 40% less funds in your normal trade. Um, at least that's how I manage my risk management if it's below 1 to 2 risk to reward ratio. And I still think it's a good call. Um, and as price action develops, you can adjust your stop loss in a more risk-free uh, way. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm preparing for. It's basically a potential break of this downtrend resistance to scalp it to the top of this uh, formation. Uh, you could be reactional. So we have this um, this range right here that will most likely act as resistance when we come up to retest it. 
um, we'll probably build a formation here and this formation is going to dictate whether or not we break to the downside and when you then basically warn you to get out of position or um, a continuation formation to allow us to break to the upside um, yeah, that's pretty much it for Matic. You, of course, if we get back into the range and we break this resistance, I'd try to stay in the resistance as long as possible. And then just be aware, just be aware of this uh, point of control inside this range and this downtrending uh, spider line right here that will act as resistance along the way up. Um, then, of course, you can prepare for the bear scenario if we end up breaking this support level to the downside like this and have it you know, confirm as resistance instead of support, then just be immediately aware of this high interest level right here. And the next levels that we'd be looking at is around 111. We got this valley right here that we can sweep through and 111 is the next bearish target if we end up breaking to the downside. Uh, but based on the structure, we're starting to build some bullish divergences, so it's actually um, more likely to break to the upside, but you should always be prepared for both scenarios. Um, or you can be prepared for one scenario and just not take the other scenario. That's one way of doing it too if you're a one-dimensional trader. Um, but yeah, guys, that's everything I got for you. If you have any questions about this, you can reach out to me in the Discord. If you want to learn more about trading, of course, you can join Investor Share, and we'll do our best to help you out. Uh, we've got about 17 different courses. Um, we got now your daily coaching calls, like anything you can do that, to help you guys out. Um, yeah, but like I said, my DMs are always open too. So yeah, you can reach out to me in Discord and have yourself an amazing day. Thanks for watching.